Okay, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are playing Street Fighter X Mega Man. We just uh, finished Chun Li's stage. It was the first stage. We stuck around and ground for a bunch of extra lives. Now we are going to move on to Crimson Viper. Uh, her stage is one where there is kind of a one of those like instant death type puzzles, like uh, Quick Man. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other ones, but um, you know, it's one of the ones where you just need to like rush through, and if you don't get it right, then you'll die. Um, so hopefully we can get through it pretty quick. The timing on it was pretty, pretty on point, so there's not a lot of wiggle room. So in this level, there's another extra life, and there's an E-Tank. There's the extra life right there. A bunch of these guys. Honestly, uh, I think this game looks better than Mega Man 10, but I feel like there's not as much diversity of enemies on any given level. Like, you kind of only run, a run up against, you know, like two, three, four enemies per level, or I feel like there was quite a bit more, but if this was really only, like, developed by you know, one guy. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good game. There's the E-Tank right there. That's one of the things I don't like. The elevators kind of go up and down. I guess they have to, but you gotta wait for them, which kind of sucks. So this is where it begins. Once you touch the ground, you need to just run and um, things will just be blowing up behind you and if you don't get to um, the end quick enough, you won't have enough time to climb the ladder, so we'll give it a shot. I actually find that the lightning kick is best thing to like kill all this stuff with. Alright, here we go. Alright, that's what you want to do. Except maybe instead of climb the ladder at the lowest point which I did, uh, climb it higher. But that was pretty good. So as long as we don't um, die in some stupid way, that helps too. Should be okay till we get to the Sea Viper fight. One of the things I kind of noticed about this Mega Man game, which was a little bit different than other Mega Man games, I feel like you can run by a lot of the enemies, and I feel like that's kind of a thing that you wouldn't really do. Oh yeah, and there's a quick switch too. But yeah, you can avoid like a lot of enemies in this game. Okay. 
So, I don't think we'll have enough to kill uh, Crimson Viper, but we'll see. Uh, either way, I'm gonna switch to Lightning Kick and just kind of get some practice in. Uh, if I die, then I'll have as much Lightning Kick as when I started, so there's like no harm, no foul. Which is one of the things I like about this game. Which is actually really... Yeah, alright. Hard to fight. And the lightning kick doesn't help because you just need to get like right up there. I notice that if you can catch her, like in mid-air. Ah. It does like a lot more damage. I don't want to use one of these tanks because you only get like five of them throughout the whole game. There we go. You just kind of mess her up like that. That wasn't so bad. I think the free refills of uh, weapon energy, even after you die, makes like a big difference, because otherwise you'd have to either get good or else um, use the tanks. Laser. We get a password, which I'm not gonna use. All right, cool. So that was uh, Crimson Viper. I'm gonna take another quick break, and then we will come back and we will fight Balsam. So I'll see you guys in a bit.